Yep, played it twice. That was made by Jacob. Um, put it in there a couple months ago. I feel, it feels like a month ago. But good day, Lone Star Middle School students. How are we doing? Uh, I'm going to move up here to the media, and I'm going to quit out of my media player since it's a much smoother way to bring in the introduction. Uh, I decided to just play that while I'm watching as well. You can see in the background that I've renamed my scientific argument to climate change. Uh, one thing that I wanted to point out that I was thinking about is uh, one of the most key pieces of the after the claim is that we're just we're seeing that this is stuff called evidence. We're gathering evidence to do a scientific argument. Um, I'll share this out and this will go into your content library in the weather section and it'll be probably it might even go in as a whole nother section and you can right click on the section that we had last time. You right click on it and you can hit delete if you want to get rid of a section because it's your notebook. It's not mine. Uh, so if you hit delete, you'll be able to get rid of that other old section. Hopefully this goes in as a page inside of this section. Um, but you'll see that I've gathered some topics of evidence. You can see I've got solid waste management. Solid waste is stuff that just won't fly, uh, but plastic bags would fly if the wind was strong enough. Then you got burning fossil fuels, you've got forest management, you've got alternative energy sources, you've got food choices, and you've got volatile chemicals. Uh, and below that, you can see that I've got some of those links here of some places you could go to gather research. Um, you'll see that in my, the claim that I put in there, uh, it says humankind makes tr good choices and bad choices concerning our resources, but with those who refuse to become informed, tend to make poor choices. Uh, so the whole idea, in, uh, just like with education, you inform and then you let them make a decision. And that's what this whole project is about. So I'm going to inform you uh, of information and then I want you to make the decision. You don't necessarily have to uh, agree one side or the other. Um, I have students who understand both sides of the topic, so they wanted to do research uh, gathering up information about both sides of the topic. Yes, humans are at fault and no, humans aren't at fault. It's a natural process. Uh, like global warming is a natural process with, with or without humans, global warming is occurring um, because there are gases in the atmosphere that when the sunlight passes through the atmosphere, it absorbs some of that heat and energy. And then once the planet absorbs the energy and it sends it back out through conduction, uh, because it's touching the atmosphere, it warms the atmosphere up, but the energy wavelength has changed, so the energy is bounced back inside of that. It's like a blanket. Um, so I'm going to go up here to class notebook. I don't believe you guys have a class notebook option there in your stuff, and it seems like mine's frozen. So, nope, mine's not frozen. There it is. So I'm going to distribute a page. In the page, I'm going to send it to uh, class book, no, class notebook distribution. It's going to try to retrieve all of my notebooks, and I've got quite a few, one for each period, and then I have some others as well. And I'm going to send it to first period, and I'm going to send it to second period, and third period, and then six, seven, and eight. And I'm going to put that in your weather section, and I'm going to copy it. So this page. I'm hoping by the morning when you get into first period, early morning people, and for those of you in eighth period, it'll still have worked. Um, and maybe some people can share their inspiration with you about how things went. I can see that my face disappeared, but sometimes that's because of what's going on with, oh, and Loom just completely died, it looks like. Wasn't that just great? Let's see if Loom comes back. Nope. 